Amazon QuickSight Q empowers your business users to ask questions about their data in simple English language and get answers instantly. I'm Priya Mysore, a Senior Technical Program Manager within the Amazon QuickSight team. And in today's video, I will demonstrate how your business users can get faster insights using Q. What you see here is an executive dashboard for Ambient Technologies, a fictitious company that sells various software products across many industries. For this demo, I'm assuming the role of an account manager in the healthcare space. I want to understand my top customers, customers that are trending down in sales, and for those customers, what product sales are low and where. Looking at this dashboard, I get some high-level information. My month-over-month -month sales are trending high, orders trending low, I see top 25 customers globally, and some sales forecasts. In looking at sales by industry, healthcare is making up only 12% of overall revenue. I want to know my top 10 customers last quarter. Let me see if I can get Q to get that answer. So I'm going to type in at the top, show me top 10 customers by sales for healthcare last quarter. Let's see what Q returns. Great! I see a bar chart showing top 10 customers. United Health Group and Aetna are at the very top, and Anthem and Pfizer are my bottom two customers. Interesting. If I want to know if Q understood my question correctly, I can look at Q's restatement in the form of pills shown at the top. I see that top 10 is a filter, customer is a field, healthcare is a value in industry. It's doing a sum of sales and filtering on previous quarter on order date. This looks about right. Now I want to look at this in a different visual type and I can do that. I can select and use a donut chart to see my result. Here I can see that United Health Group makes up 30 percent followed by Aetna at 20 percent and I see that Cigna is at 3 percent and Anthem at 2%. Interesting. So now I want to know what products are my top customers buying and what are my bottom customers buying. Let's see if I can get Q to answer that. I'm going to type in what are the sales and I want to break it down by product and I want to select my top customer United Health Group. And I see that Q automatically recognizes. And I'm going to select that and also add in my bottom two customers, Anthem and Pfizer. And I want to break this down by customer and show this for last quarter. Let's see what happens now. Great, Q returns a bar chart, horizontal one. I'm going to switch that to a stacked bar chart. This is more readable, and I can clearly see that Finance Hub and Marketing Suite are the most amount of sales for United Health Group, but those two products are not being purchased by Pfizer and Anthem. It's a huge opportunity here to see what's going on and sell to those customers. This looks great. I'm going to mark it a thumbs up. And now I want to see who my least profitable customers in healthcare are. To be able to get insights so quickly is actually very cool. Okay, let's go ahead and ask the next question. Who are my least profitable and as I'm typing in profitable, Q is able to recognize that. So I want to look at my least profitable customers in the healthcare space and filter this for last quarter. Let's see what Q brings back. I thought so. Merck is 
not doing so great. So I'm wondering what products are being discounted there. Let's see. So I can show or I can look at discount by product. So let me ask that question. Show me discount. Great, discount exists in my data. And break it down by product. And I want to see this for Merck. And only look at last quarter. And I can do that. Interesting. Contact matcher is being discounted 50%. I wonder if that's why their revenue is, is down. So I'm going to find out the contact person there. So I'm going to ask you, show me customer details for Merck and for that particular product, Contact Matcher. Great, I see a lot of information that Q brought back for Merck. In addition to the customer, I see the region, the segment, the country, and for the product, the contact name and the discounted percent. Let me export this to Excel and I can contact uh, the folks offline in each of the regions and segments. This looks great. I'll mark it a thumbs up. Now, I also notice something. As I click into the cue bar, I see a list of questions in the drop-down. The first five questions seems to be my most recent questions asked, and the second five seems to be questions that have been verified by someone in the BI team or the author. Pretty cool. These seem to be really good getting started questions. In addition, if I click on the ellipses on the far right-hand corner, I can take a look at the topic details. This topic contains questions around customer spend across product lines and across all geos. And again, there are some sample questions that I can use to get started. I can also look at the data fields that this topic contains. So I'm able to ask questions around sales, profit, discount. I, I look at also customer details, country. I can break it down by segment, subregion. So I get a lot of information from looking at this uh, tab. Now I'm curious to know my sales at a sub-territory level. Let's see if actually um, Q can bring that information back. I see that Q doesn't understand or able to link sub-territory. Let me see if I can search for sub and see if there's any other field that's available in my data. I think subregion is what I'm looking for. Great. I am actually able to link subterritory to subregion um, and get my answer. This is pretty cool. I'll mark it a thumbs up. Going back to top two products for my top customer, what if I wanted to see how they're performing over time so I can plan or forecast better? So I can ask Q, show me monthly trend of sales in healthcare for finance hub and compare that to the marketing suite so I can say versus or compare to and I can select marketing suite here and let's see what Q returns. Q is actually bringing back the answer and showing me a trend for both the products side by side over time. As I can see here finance hub it's pretty volatile over time. So it's good to know that as I'm forecasting this product and trying to sell it to other customers. So now I'm curious to know for my top customer, what is the annual growth percent or growth rate in revenue? Let's see if Q can answer that question. So I can ask, what is the growth percent in revenue? And I want to look at year to date and compare that to last year. So I can type in YTD for year to date. And I see that that question is also something that is commonly asked. So great, Q returns a, a KPI visual and shows it's at 113.64%. Pretty great. I'm going to reach out to the salesperson for the account and 
send, send them a hefty reward. As you can see here, in a matter of few minutes, all of my questions were answered instantly by Q. To summarize, what are the key benefits of QuickSight Q for your readers? Your readers or business users can ask questions on their data using simple English language and get answers instantly, as you saw in the demo. These questions and answers go beyond what's presented on the dashboard. They are able to use natural language query capability and empower themselves to self-serve to get faster business insights. Previously, they would have to wait a week to 10 days for their BI team to build additional views of the dashboard. In addition, once they are able to get these insights, they are able to interact with the answers and also provide feedback. This feedback loop mechanism allows authors to truly understand the exact questions and insights your users are after. This allows them to build better data sets and dashboards. If you're interested in trying out Q, you can go to our Demo Central and ask questions on the various domains of data available there. Hope this session was informative, and if you'd like to enable QuickSight Q on your account, contact your QuickSight administrator. Thank you for watching.